Hey guys, so first off, I started off with a two-day-old twist out. Uh, first, I basically just parted down the middle, making it easier for me to style this style. Then I put up one half of my hair so I can work on that other half. Once I did that, I wet my hair with my water spray bottle. Uh, so this could make it basically easier for me to, to detangle my hair. And before I detangled my hair, I used the Cold Wash Me Cleansing from Alakay Natural. You can use that for a leave-in as well. I love it as a leave-in. So I put that around my hair. And then I proceeded to detangle with my detangling comb. Once I finished detangling, I made a small part by my ear. This is for the beaded section that I'll be doing in this tutorial. So uh, you can easily, for me, for the starter kit basically, I, I didn't braid backwards because I don't know how to braid backwards. So I just basically did a three strand braid. So I applied the Eco Styler Gel to that to so just smooth it out a little making it easier for me to braid. Once I finished braiding all the way down, I started with the Carol Daughters again, and I applied it all the way down my hair, just to help smooth out my hair for this low pony that I will be doing. After I did that, I added the Eco Styler Gel just to smooth it out, and I brushed it, so, or you can comb it, or you can use your hands to smooth out your hair, so it can look very smooth. Then I put it in a ponytail. I repeat all those steps for the next side. Now that I finished both sides, I will start adding the braiding hair to each ponytail. So first off, I use the Brazilian Q hair, which is very nice hair, first time using it. I got the rubber band and I put it in the middle and I secured it. Now I just use that as a ponytail kind of holder and I just wrapped it around my actual ponytail and I made sure it was very tight so it won't slip off while I'm doing my hair.
once I finish that, I'm going to proceed to braid it. Now, uh, when I first did it, I didn't have enough hair. So I'm showing you the part where I didn't have enough hair, so it kind of looked kind of skimpy. So, I added hair at the end. So once I finish both sides, it's time to add beads. Yes, beads. Bringing back those beads. So I got those from a local beauty supply store. And then I just added the beads to the little bead thing. I don't even know what they are called, but I just added about five. And then I applied them to my, my little braid. not fall off you secure your your hair around that last bead with a rubber band so it won't fall off so make sure it's tight so it won't slip off or things like that Once I finish, I just played around with what it looks best. Like I said earlier, I added hair because that right there was not enough. Did not look right. I didn't do it right. And then these going to be my finishing results right here. You can add as much hair as you want to make it as big as you want. Or you can make it as little as you want. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.